Welcome to another episode of Ready Roast My Rig. I am your host, Fluff. If you have your own rig that you would like to see rated and or roasted, I will leave a link down below in the description. And with that, let's just jump into it, shall we? <laughs> Listen, for the last time, young man, clean your room. And I don't mean just move things around and put them in different shelves. How is this room kind of tidy, but so messy at the same time? What am I even looking at here? You got a ton of books. That shelf is kind of an eyesore. And then I start to look around at all the crevices and I see like the pile of patch cables on your Marshall, um, some kind of a sippy cup thing, that you, an adult sippy cup on the desk, another book. You do have a framed New Mutants number one, which is pretty cool. I see you. And then you have like a bag of something hanging from your pedal shelves. I don't know what those are. Also, why do you have so many of those Maestro pedals? Are there duplicates or they didn't make that many pedals, did they? I guess they did. And why aren't they all together? Put them all on the same shelf. Don't be weird. I'm not being weird, you're being weird. You're weird. Let's take a look at your books. Good, clean, fun, hardcore zen. I don't even wanna know what that is. And you got some graphic novels, okay. Okay. The Marvel Encyclopedia, so you're a comic book guy. Cool Reverend guitar. Uh, I like the mother of toilet seat, that's what they call it. I'm not making uh, I'm not making fun, that's what they call it, you know, in the 50s. Uh, mother of toilet seat uh, thing, you got a Gibson SG, Marshall Origin with a 212, and then a bunch of cables everywhere. I don't wanna look at it anymore. Oh, man. I like the pedals, I like the guitars, I like the framed comic book, everything else. I just wanna go like a movie. That's the sound it makes. <laughs> I'm still gonna give you a rig. Three out of five beards. All right, here we have the Weekend Warrior rig. We have a JCM 800 Mini. Got a couple Les Pauls, we got a Fender Strat, and we got a wah pedal. And like all good wah pedals, it's not plugged in. Cause they should, wah pedals should generally not, unless you're Jerry Cantrell or Tom Morello. No, I'm not mentioning Kirk Hammett. Nope, I'm not saying that. Graphic EQ, you got cables, you got stuff everywhere. It's kind of cluttered. Listen. I know, we all know that you probably got this, uh, you got all your stuff out to take this photo because otherwise your wife makes you put everything back in the closet. And I get it, I've been there. We've all been there. It's fine. Also your carpet looks like it's the underside of the carpet. Do you know what I'm saying? The flooring, the carpet looks like it's the underside of a carpet. I don't know what that's about. Are you moving, moving maybe? Are you in the middle of moving? I'm, I don't know. Anyway, you know what? I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. However, I'm going to give you a three out of five beards. Now here we have more guitars without a guitar stand. We have the Explorer because it has to have a guitar stand. We have the Epiphone Prophecy Explorer. And then we have just some guitars just kind of Stresses me out, stresses me out. We do have some nice EVH stuff though. And we do have a Fender combo. And then we have a little doggy. Your dog is absolutely adorable. And I love that it has, I'm gonna say it because I don't know if it's a female or male. And I love that it's on its own little towel, its own little bed. I appreciate that. You're clearly a very good dog owner. Rules is rules. I almost gave you a normal rating. Uh, the dog automatically gives you five out of five beards. There's so much going on here, I hate it. You have an old BC Rich, you have a Jackson, you have a couple of Jacksons, uh, a Dime, Razorback. You like weird shaped guitars, I get it. You have an old you got some old stuff, you got some new stuff, you got a predator mask with the Betty Boop cutout. I don't even know what to look at right now. 
stressed out. I'm stressed out. And you also scratch, so like you're a DJ metal guy? Do you remix Slayer ifs? And I don't know. That's what record scratching sounds like, right? You have a rat, you have a death, a dot, DOD death metal. You got a bunch of pedals kind of strewn all over the place. You got the electronic drum set. You got the microphone. Um, the, I don't know who, who knows what your vocals sound like. Um, you do have NES games and I like that. Much respect. And N64 games. Oh man, I bet you're just a blast at a party. And I bet your party is uh, getting together with the boys and uh, plugging in some old school Xboxes and having LAN parties while we're mixing Slayer in, with keyboards or something. I don't know. I don't know what you're doing here. I don't know what kind of music you're making. It kind of freaks me out. And I think you might be a serial killer. I don't know. However, you have earned two out of five beards. Here we have what looks to be oddly like one of my old setups. You have made yourself a section in the basement of Nana's basement because the wall paneling reminds me of what my grandparents had in their basement 30 years ago. You got a couple of pretty decent guitars, actually. All your guitars are decent. You got an Ibanez, you got a couple of Les Pauls, a couple of PRSs, a Fender Strat, a pedal board, Marshall. You have a three channel dual rectifier with replacement knobs. That's kind of weird. Uh, EVH stuff, more and more pedals on top of boxes, headphones, dirty carpets. There's just stuff everywhere. You're totally unchecked. You're, you're a wild man. You are a wild man. You probably eat TV dinners at night. You probably have those half pop, those weird half pop microwave popcorns for lunch. And you probably still drink Snapple. Look that up, kids. That's kind of weird. I know how this room smells. You know the smell. You know, it smells like grandma's house, even though, you know what, this could be your house, but it's probably still smells like old person, to be totally fair. The LED lights aren't fooling anybody. You got a lot of stuff, or this is the creepiest church I've ever been to. I don't know. However, I'm still going to give you uh, three out of five beards. And last but not least, we have... We have what looks to be an attic on the East Coast or something. I have no idea where this is. However, um, you have a Black Star. You have a No Name 212 with an Orange Super Crush 100. You have the Madison Divinity. You have a Vox 412. That's weird. Mark Holcomb SE. And you have a pedal board, which is fairly tidy. There's cables everywhere, but you know what? Whatever. The Madison Divinity, you just never see. You remember how hyped those amps were in like 2008, even though every time you heard one, you were like, that one must be broken. And then you heard another one, you're like, that one must be broken too. <laughs> they were like the weirdest, most solid state sounding amplifiers ever. And yes, I have played a couple. Not for me. Not for me at all. However... Kind of a weird vibe in this one. I don't know, maybe it's the uh, the white walls or the, the emptiness and it's kind of awkward. You're kind of shoved into a corner here. This gives me attic vibes. You're probably not in an attic. You're probably at home screaming, uh, that is not my attic, sir. But you know what? Gives me attic vibes. I don't like uh, attic vibes. I'm gonna give this rig two out of five beards. And that does it for this episode of Rate and Roast, my rig. If you would like to submit your own rig to Rate or Roast, feel free to hit the link down below in the description. And with that, you've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.